why the Boeing 787-9 is the best widebody post-pandemic. 787-9 is an aircraft that may not be the most revolutionary, but out of the biggest storm the industry has faced yet, it is the perfect widebody. Here's why. Impressive cargo, 787-9 may be in the medium-sized widebody class, but its cargo capacity is not far off from the class above. It takes 33 LD3 containers or 11 pallets in the underfloor belly hold. To put things in context, an A350-900, an aircraft from the class above, takes the same amount of cargo. In the post-pandemic world, cargo demand for medical supplies is expected to be high and this cargo capability would come in handy. Before we continue, if you're new here, a warm welcome and do stay tuned for more great videos in a way. Hitting that subscribe button will go a long way in spurring me to make more such great videos. Incredible versatility. The 787-9 has a huge range of 7,635 nautical miles with full payloads. This means the aircraft can fly non-stop from Singapore to London, Frankfurt to Narita, Paris to Hong Kong or more. With reduced payloads, it can fly Perth to London with still a decent number of passengers. In an optimal seating layout, 787-9 can carry 296 passengers in a comfortable two-class layout, though some airlines manage to fit more in. Vistara, for example, one of the newest airlines to take delivery of 787, outfits their Dash 9 299 seats in a three-class layout, also including a premium economy cabin, and plan to fly nearly 300 passengers to London from India on a 787. However, what about social distancing on airplanes? Well, post-pandemic, social distancing may still be a thing till proven vaccine is developed. And here, the 787-9 is one of the least compromised aircraft. Assuming all passengers must be sat one seat away from each other in the economy, leaving the middle seats empty, in a typical two-class layout, the aircraft takes 100 passengers less than usual and 199 passengers. Not great, but a slightly larger A350-900 will also take about 101 less passengers, meaning it carries around 235 passengers, only 36 more than 787-9. For an airplane supposed to carry 45 to 50 more passengers, and 787-9. Both A350-900 and 787-9 are typically configured for 9 abreast. The 787-9's size and cabin layout means it's the least affected and most optimized even with social distancing. Highly efficient. The 787-9 may not be the newest white body in the industry, but still one of the most efficient. 787 was developed from the ground up to be fuel efficient, with its new lighter carbon fiber wings and fuselage new systems and fuel efficient engines from either Rolls-Royce or GE and its new wings. Compared to previous generation airplanes, it burns 20% less fuel. And even compared to its nearest competition today, it burns 6% less fuel per seat against the A330-900 and 6% less fuel per trip than the A350-900. In other words, a no-brainer. affordable for airlines. And here is the bottom line, the drum roll. Not only is the 787-9 one of the most efficient, the most versatile and the most profitable, but it's also by far the cheapest in its class.
787-9 has a list price of 292.5 million USD. This compares to 317.4 million for the larger A350-900 and 296.4 million for the A330-900. Of course, Airbus claims they will be able to give a bigger discount on A330-900, but Boeing is sure to also give one as well. Maintenance costs for the new carbon fiber sections have proven acceptable and the aircraft is now reliable. The pandemic has truly put pressure on all airlines, and out of this pandemic, it will be a survival of the fittest. Airlines will need the best aircraft possible to recover from this crisis. The 787-9 is one of those aircraft. It's neither too big nor too small, flies far enough with low trip costs and offers good cargo capability. In short, it's the perfect middle ground white body and is the best white body post-pandemic.